I got two lists that the first one is a this or that. So is it Walmart or Target? Target all day for me. Give me Walmart. I'm a Walmart baby, man. Yeah, give me Walmart. All right. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. Breakfast. I'm breakfast. Y'all know obviously. Oh, I said it wrong. Breakfast. 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 Uh, y'all can play along in the chat as well, man. Um, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Waffle me, please. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle, man. Sometimes I want pancakes. Sometimes I want waffles. Never want waffles unless it's an ego. Blueberry waffle, but that's. Would you take French toast? No. You don't like French toast? No. Wow. They cool. But I'd rather have a pancake over anything. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Okay. Ice cream or cake? Mm. Nah, you cannot have one without the other. <laughs> the fuck? You can each. <laughs> Give me cake. 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 I'm taking ice cream. <laughs> all right. We know Nell's answer on this because yeah. he says it all the time. <laughs> no, this ain't, this ain't that. This ain't that. This ain't that. Uh, text or phone call? <laughs> Ish. Text. Yeah, I'm a texter. Um daytime or nighttime? Daytime. Nighttime, baby. Nighttime. I'm a night owl. Night owls with up. Vamp life. Alright, the last one on this list is strawberry or watermelon. Strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah, I'm definitely strawberry, man. I'm definitely strawberry. Alright. This next one on the icebreaker is never have I ever. So say I have or I haven't. Got a tattoo. I have it. I have. <laughs> I have plenty. Yes. Um, why haven't you now? I don't know. I ain't want to. I don't know. You ain't want to desecrate. You don't want to destroy God's work? <laughs> I don't know. I just. I always want, probably one one, just never got the nerve to go get one. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. The next one is Ada Insect. Say what? <laughs> it's nah. Ada Insect, Ish. Want to go? Want to share a spider? Hot? Hot. 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 Yeah. It's actually really good, the flavor. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Wait a minute. <laughs> An insect. Eat an, an insect. insect. You know how sometimes people eat like chocolate, oh, nigga, no. chocolate cover, Can whatever. Can I say that? Nigga, no. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say. No. This is how it's survival. Right. This is nigga, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the secret group, we say what the fuck we want to say in there, too. Whenever I'm in that motherfucker. This is not the secret group. You can say whatever you want to say, man. All right. The next one is got arrested. I have. Have? I haven't. Okay. All right, Look at the, the crispy ne- clean jacket over there. They get cri- no tattoos, no tattoos, no arrest, no, arrest. <laughs> no liquor, no liquor. No he chilling liquor. like a villain, man. All right, the next one is got a piercing. I have. No, thank you. Nah. How do you feel about men with uh, piercings? Um. Wow. Was pierced. It really all depends on what's what's pierced. It'd like be a nose, tongue. a tongue. I'm not a fan of. I like the ears and the tongue. That's a about belly it. button. No, no <laughs> belly button. I've seen somebody with a dick piercing. I'm good on that. My oldest brother had his tongue pierced when, like, when we was young, young, and I was yeah. like, "That's a little wild." But he was nasty. He was like a freak ball. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's he, not saying a freak, freak ball to the extra yeah. level. Yeah, yo. a lot of the freak oh, bulls shit. definitely had the tongue pierced. That's why I said tongue or um, like the ears. I don't mind that, but some of the other. Um, All right, so let me get in your business real quick. Um, have you ever uh, partaked with a guy who had a pierced tongue? Yes. Did it feel different when he ate your box? Yes. Was it better? Yes. Oh, shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Definitely when I was younger, because you know it's not too many guys walking around with, with pierced tongues right now, but oh, definitely shit. when I was younger, like in my 20s. Oh, shit, no. We might have to look into that. <laughs> look at Dell, like, <laughs> look hell at no. Dell. <laughs> no. I don't fucking think yes. so. Not over this here way. All right. The next one is been robbed. Yes. No. No. Um, you sure you're shaking to the core? 
Mm-hmm. I was. It was a home invasion. It wasn't just like a, you know, Were you take there? something off me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, tied up. Me and little Steve. Oh, I'm lying. Yes. Hey, I had a job. Twice. Mm. Thrown in the mm. freezer. I can't. I was in my boxers, getting clothes on, taking my uniform on, put my clothes on and go home. And they put us in the freezer with my boxers and my wife beater on. So, yes, I have twice. No, I worked in a bank. Y'all know that. First month in a bank, God came and robbed me. My picture was in the newspaper. Wow. So, yes, I have experienced that. See what happens here on Uncensored Minds, man? We get to know people, man. <laughs> we get to know people, man. All right, skinny dipped. Uh... <laughs> Do I have to yeah, answer? Maybe. What the fuck? Yeah. This is Uncensored Minds. What you mean? You want to know everything. Yes. yes. You want to know everything. Yes. Yes. What's your answer No. No. Um, unfortunately, no. But I, I will do it. I will do it. I'm not mad at it. All right. Fell the class. The chlorine going to get in my, in my, in my dick hole. Like, <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> that shit probably burn. Fell the class, y'all. Yes. Yes. Have I ever failed a class? Failed right. it like and got left back or something? Like, no, I think yeah, I ain't never I think do that. Say failed a class, so I don't think you had to get. I failed a college class. I ain't never failed like high school. I did. Fe- I did fail a college class and had to re- yeah. make it up in the yeah, summer. me too. I don't know if I don't know if I actually failed a class, but I probably there's kind of classes that I just didn't never go to that I failed. Mm-hmm. That counts, I guess. All right, fake the illness, so you mm-hmm. fake being sick. Yeah. Everybody did that. Yeah. Everybody should have did that. Yeah. All right, how did y'all fake being sick though? This is the key. Uh, this is the key, Joe. How did you fake? I work. Being like, sick? Oh shit! I don't, <laughs> oh shit! Like damn, I can't even get my light together. Like I'm fucked up. All right, go home. All right. Oh my God. Eesh. Yeah, I have. I try not to do it a lot now that I'm older because I'll be feeling like, you know, you manifest it so it'll come true. So I try not to do that now and or in my later years. But younger, yeah. hell yeah. That's what I say. I'm real old school, man. From When I was a young boy, I definitely did the temperature joint under the light shit. <laughs> I did all of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did. But my shit. mom used to be like, she would never fall for that shit. Cause if I did some shit like that, she'd be like, "Bitch, you ain't hot. You ain't hot. Let's stick it up your ass." That would be my mom. No, yeah, we we shit. checking. All right, sang in the shower. Yeah, yes. Damn. Yeah, we definitely sang in the shower, man. That motherfucker, we sound right. real, real good. All right, ever broke a bone? Yes. No. Uh, I don't have a broken bone. I got out this shit, but not a broken bone. What did you break now? I broke something major, but I broke a bone in my foot twice. Mm. What did they tell you? They just put the boot on it because they always yeah. I, they gave me the boot, but I don't wear that shit. I got a broken bone in my foot now, as we speak. Wow. Yeah, I broke a bone in my foot playing pickleball. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll that's right. You did say that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> hurt, but won't you put still that keep boot on. Right. You say fuck that boot. That boot is a mess, and it's my driving foot. So it's oh. Like, I can't. All right. Uh, Gotten white girl wasted. Yes, many times. We already we already know my story. I peed on somebody when I got <laughs> Uh yeah, I definitely got white girl wasted a couple times. All right, skip school. Yeah. I was a master at this. Look look where I was a master at this ish. You knew what you were doing when you woke up this morning, didn't you? Me? Oh shit. Go. At fourth grade. Oh, fourth grade. <laughs> fourth Good grade. Lord, I was a skipping school master, man. Not fourth grade. No. No, no. No, I may have skipped classes. Right. But, but never, never skipped the whole school. day of school. No. That's crazy. Yeah. I ain't know where the fuck to go. Where to go. <laughs> right. I used to go in the corner store, play Tecmo Bowl, like, <laughs> dog all kinds of shit. Badass. One day, I just hid under my bed the whole day. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Not. See, it's what? a different type of I kid. I told you. I okay. was a wild, I was a wild kid. I hid right? under my bed the whole day. I hid under oh, my right. bed the whole day. You ain't go pee. You ain't want, <laughs> no. you ain't want no snacks. <laughs> what was you doing under the bed? 
Sleep. <laughs> oh, you just was sleep. Right. Oh, God. No, I thought maybe you had like a video game or something and oh. you was under there video gaming or something. No, I was sleep. <laughs> Look, this is how I'm going to tell y'all, man. This is the, the fucked up shit about it is because... No, no, my mom was across the guard. Yeah. <laughs> so my mom is coming home. Yeah. <laughs> so when she come home. So when she when yeah. she come home, like I was up, but when did she about to come home? I go to sleep. I didn't be. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then how would you get yourself from under the bed when because she gotta to go home? back out so when she would go back out then you would go back out and then make pretend to come back in right <laughs> yeah it was wild it was stupid but okay. it was wild okay. <laughs> alright uh, head surgery yes 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 definitely a couple alright sing karaoke yes. yes what's y'all karaoke song oh I'm with whatever like I don't have a favorite one, but... Yeah. All right, I'm definitely uh, singing Poison by BBD or some <laughs> shit. Girl, I must warn you. I said something strange in my mind. <laughs> so I'm wilding. I'm wilding at the carry. You saying the rain is my shit. Tell me, baby, can you stand Oh, shit. You done slowed it down yeah, on them. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is an interesting one. Met a celebrity. Like, who's the biggest celebrity that you met? Couple, actually. Right. Mm-hmm. Or your favorite celebrity that you met? Biggest celebrity I met. Mm. That's hard because I, I actually had a group of celebrities, sports stars, who were clients of mine. Right. So let's name a few. Kyrie Irving. Mm. Um, Mario. Mm-hmm. Mario is actually a good friend of mine. Um... Julio Jones, okay. Atlanta Falcons, Lil Sean McCoy, former native Philadelphia Eagles. Shady. Friend of mine, you know, and former client. Um, and I met, a, I actually, one year, 2000, either 17 or 18, when the, the year right before the Atlanta Falcons went to the Super Bowl, I actually was invited to the Super Bowl. So I went and I was in a box and there was a lot of motherfuckers in there. Mm-hmm. Um, Kevin Hart was in there. Um, I never went over and I ain't that type dude. I'm right. know, reclusive and I'm real introverted. But Kevin Hart and then was in there. Shaq was in there at the time. Michael Rubin was in the box as well. It was a couple of roles from from me. Okay. Um. So yeah, I actually met a lot of them too from working in the bank. Right. Benny Siegel, you know, Oskino, mm. um, Chris and Neve. You don't got a favorite? Mm, my favorite going to be my young uh, one of my homies, Lil Mario. Right. You know. I, we we keep in Mario touch. seemed like a cool dude. Cool yeah. dude, you know, not not too far off in age. He definitely younger than me, but right. real cool dude. And Kyrie Irving was another real real cool dude down to earth. Met him when he was nineteen, just coming into the league a year before. So you know, I'm, you know, got good relationships with these people. And, sh- and Shady, shout out to my boy Shady. Shout out to Shady. He definitely has watched the show a couple of times actually, and has given us a big shout out too. So I wanted to definitely say what up, Shady. What's popping? Shout out to Shady. I watch him on speak almost every day. All right, Ish, who, who, who you got? Um, let's see. Beverly Johnson, Melanie Fiona. Beautiful. Kevin Hart, I actually know him personally. Mm. Um, a couple of the Plastic Cup boys I know personally. Um, Patty LaBelle. You know Patty? I don't know her. My mom went to school oh. with her and grew up in Elmwood um, with about her. To get excited. So like, you, I you, met her. You hooked me up. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know her I mean, personally. No, you hook yes, me up. I have met her. You see my eyes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love Patty. Who else? Um, I cannot think of his name. His name is Ellis, but uh, he was blue off of the game. I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah Jay I, Ellis. Jay, Jay Ellis. Ellis. That's it. I got um a couple pictures with him, and I think that's about. Of course, we know like Oskino yeah, and I'm like absolutely. that's Philly. Um, oh, and Little Mo. Little Mo, but yeah, she I don't even met her because she used to with her husband. She used to be on the corner in North Philly, which my girlfriend lived on the block up the street. Facts. All right. Um. I probably met all the Philly music people, uh-huh. but I would say that my favorite would be Tina Marie because the greatest thing about Tina Marie is that white girl, she was black. She was really as advertised, as they say. She was really that. She was really like not your average white girl. She was really like hood. Uh-huh. 
So I'm gonna say Tina Marie would be my favorite. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. How can I forget my own family, my own cousin Jasmine Sullivan, actually on my mom's side. No. So how can I not forget about her? So Jasmine, she, real, real, real talented, beautiful young lady. Um, I love what you got going on, Jazz, and I'm gonna have you sing at my wedding. <laughs> Look, we love you, cuz Jazz. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have her on the show. Yeah, like, we, we love you, Jazz. Kind of, so, we love you, you know, Jazz. Have her on the show or whatever. That'd be something dope. Thanks. And I do have to give a shout out to my fellow Capricorn Ray J. Um, he did have fifty holes with him. Definitely had Ray J. But he always used to just be like. But love it. It's cool, but love it. You know what? I'm not. <laughs> but, all right, let's go to the next joint. Got a perm before. Yes. No. Now, your shit has been fried, died, <laughs> and laid to the side before. Mom? <laughs> That's why you got it. <laughs> Niggas wasn't never getting no fucking perm. He get what real serious. Perm for? What I- he get real serious. Yeah, I'm, really? I'm sitting here like a perm? Nah. It's okay. Nah. Look, I'm just joking. No, probably not a full perm, but I did. When I had braids, I did get my shit straightened. Oh, okay. Okay. I did get my shit straightened. I ain't never had that. Okay, had braces. Yes, no. I did. Yeah, I definitely had braces. Nope. I need, I'm about to get them again. About to get them See, again. my problem is I had them. I had the medals when I was in high school. I had the the uh, the align like the clear the invisible lines. I don't wear the retainers, and so my teeth. I will go through the process, and then my teeth always shift. That's always the yeah, bottom. Wearing that retainer you're sucked. Right? You're yeah, you get invisible, or you get no. Shift. I'm not gonna do the invisible. No, wearing a retainer is worse than having races. Please, some. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody <laughs> agrees yeah, because nobody you don't, seems to understand. It's like you like go you through do. all of that, like you go through all of that having braces, like you have them for like well, however long you have them or whatever, and then you just gotta wear this retainer that's irritating because it's like it's sitting yes. in your mouth. The way that it's sitting in your mouth and is so you fucking have, irritating. Yes, and you have to wear them just about as long right. as you fucking had the braces. So it's like after a certain point, you like what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, you just like fuck, fuck this it. shit. <laughs> you just like fuck and it. then I'll be done. And I had the Avisen line as recent as um. Um, maybe four or five years ago, but I just didn't never wore. I wore a retainer for maybe like a month, and then after that, I was just uh-huh. like, oh. "Now I went to go put that motherfucker back in." It was like, "Nope." Yeah, yeah <laughs> my teeth shifted right. back. It was too late, and I was just like, Shh. "All right, all right." So that was the icebreaker tonight. Um, I'm glad that y'all learned a little bit about all of us. I guess if y'all ever shot somebody, or shot at somebody, or. Not shot. I know we have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I seen that shit, but I ain't actually did it myself. <laughs> so that was uh, tonight's icebreaker, everybody. Um, you know, share your thoughts and comments in the in the chat or in the comments.